Mel B is said to be about to receive an MBE for her services to domestic violence victims. The Spice Girls star and women's aid patron, 46, has previously opened up about her first-hand experience with abuse and campaigned for change. Her efforts even saw her take her campaign to Downing Street in 2019. As part of a women's aid campaign earlier this year, the singer starred in a music video called Love Should Not Hurt where she played the role of a woman who had been badly beaten. Her character is seen at home with a partner in the harrowing video as she tries to run out of the door but is grabbed back by the man and pulled onto the floor. He then beats her and drags her around the house, before she flees again and he catches her, throwing her on the ground and strangling her. Her face bloody and beaten, the man then lands several more punches until Mel lies motionless on the ground and he spits on her. Speaking about the award, a source told The Sun, it is well deserved. Despite her achievements in music and TV she believes her campaigning is the most important thing she's ever done. Not only does she have first-hand experience of it but she has met many women who have suffered. She has a real fire in her belly about campaigning. She is so passionate about it and brings so much energy to everything she works on. She was incredibly brave to speak out as it is such a deeply personal thing for her. The Mirror has contacted Mel B's representatives for comment. She has previously confessed to contemplating suicide during her marriage to Stephen Belafonte. The mom of three said she had been kiving in a nightmare pretending her life was perfect when in reality she was hiding her immense shame at staying with Belafonte despite her misery. The star revealed that there were times during their relationship when she thought Stephen might kill her. She said at other times she thought about taking her own life. After finding the courage to leave, Mel partnered with the charity Women's Aid to share her own experience in the hope of helping others. She revealed, I want to be a Women's Aid patron until the day I die. I'll always be there flying the flag. Stats from Women's Aid show that almost half of women have reported feeling depressed or having suicidal thoughts as a result of the domestic abuse they had experienced. If you need help, call the National Domestic Abuse Helpline on 0808-2000-247, it's run by Charity Refuge and the free number is in operation 24 hours a day.